Hey, back in the garage today to work on a KTM. Hope you enjoyed the last of the videos from my Hawaii and LA trip, which seems so long ago now. But anyway, bought an Oberon clutch slave cylinder for the KTM. Um, heard some stories about the, uh, the clutch slave playing up. So I've already had to bleed it once before. So I've gone and bought a replacement. So we have the Oberon, neat little unit. And it comes with uh, an array of bolts, a little ball bearing that you put in there. That's full of grease, you put the little ball bearing in there when ready to fit. And then you've got some crush washers. So what we need is a Torx 30, an eight mil for the bleed nipple and a 13 mil for the banjo, syringe kit, and some brake and clutch fluid, dot 5.1. So we're gonna replace that there. Um, I don't believe, or looking at it at the moment, we're gonna to have to change or take off the um, chain guard, but we just have to see. Um, I'm gonna leave the fluid in the um, master cylinder with it still done up, because I'm hoping um, that it'll cause a vacuum. So when I undo the banjo, it will leak some fluid, but won't drip straight out. Let's start with undoing the, uh, the banjo. Hopefully we're not gonna lose too much fluid. I might be completely wrong on this. Uh, and probably have to uh, drain the, uh, completely drain the line, but I'm hoping uh, not to. Take some of that fluid out. Not that there was much in there. Remove that washer. How could that come off as one? So remove the block. You can buy a replacement block, but I'm not gonna, but I will give this a clean up. So we've got the new unit. Let's pop that uh, protective seal off. And it's already compact with some grease. And you push this little tiny ball bearing in there. I'm going to reuse the original bolts. I don't see any reason why not to. Okay, just fill the syringe up with some uh, clutch fluid and I'm just going to prime Take the plastic cap out. I'm just going to prime the cylinder. Just going to pump it a little bit. So hopefully this will uh, help me out when bleeding. Right now what I'm going to do is, we have the uh, banjo bolt, that's the original washer, we're going to get rid of them, put the new one on, quite substantially thicker, so we put the banjo back in there. Got the other washer on. 
little bit awkward. Now what I've had to do before is, because I haven't got an open-ended uh, 8mm, pop that on there. Okay, so my tube was a little bit tight. I did this, uh, I had to do this the last time. Just warm the tube up to get it over the bleed nipple. And then put my ring um, spanner over the top. So I've got some fluid in the syringe. I'm gonna open that up. A little bit of fluid left in there. Hopefully there's still fluid in the line, which is the main thing. So let's crack it open and, uh, and start bleeding. Until we get some fluid up here. Start to see some air bubbles coming through. And then we're going to stop. Close it off. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of fluid out of the reservoir. Not too much. Open up the nipple again. And continue to do this until hopefully all the air bubbles come out. And as you can see, there's very little coming out. But I'll continue to fill and drain, fill and drain. Okay, I've not got a brilliant fit on uh, the tube, on the bleed nipple. So I am weeping a little bit, literally a little bit. But I seem to have uh, tension now on the, um, as you can see, the clutch. Got some bite there. So I'll do the same again. Take a little bit of fluid out. Okay, we got a good bite on that. So I'm happy with that. Got a good Good amount of tension on there, I can hear the, uh, the clutch. Hear the push rod activating the clutch. That feels good. It feels a lot more tense than the... Uh, not, not so much tense, that feels a lot 
harder to pull in, not so light. Yeah, I'm fairly happy with that. Put the diaphragm back in, we're going to lose some fluid around there. Reservoir cap is okay, it's sealed. Nothing coming out down here. Still holding tension. So let's fire it up. Can't run it to, uh, for too long in the garage, I'll end up gassing myself out. Seems good. That's uh, that's biting okay. All good. Well, there you have, folks. Complete novice. Uh, we changed the clutch slave cylinder for an Oberon one. Um, fairly straightforward. Uh, most of you that are mechanics and, and know better probably would say, yeah, completely drain the system first. But I, I didn't, obviously to help, uh, help with the bleeding. Bleeding wasn't too bad. Went pretty much like uh, the way I bled it before. So, jobs are good. And thanks for stopping by. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Give me a like, it all helps. And I hope this video has been helpful. Catch you again, take care, ride safe.